farming full time here since I was 16, leaving school at 16. We're farming around about 200 acres. We'll be calved down about 90 suckler cows there in the springtime and the lamb about 450 ewes and ewe lambs. We're three enterprises in the farm, so there's the sheep, the suckler cows, and then we we'll buy in dairy calves and we we'll take them on to beef. Every kilo of livestock we can get on in the field with grass, that's where our profit is. We've been soil sampling probably from the, the late 80s right through the 90s and you'd have been doing a wee bit at the start, probably just reseeding fields. You need to know what the soil is, so we, we, we have been an advocate of, of soil sampling over the years. Having that in front of you, just on, on, on sheets of paper, it, it's, it was a no-brainer in, in my opinion. Like, and having it all done free, we're not right even having to walk the fields. Yeah, more of the, more of the same place. <laughs> Even, even since those analysis and stuff come in, we we'll have applied a lime till some of the fields. We go way back till the first few samples, our ground was really, really low in pea, whereas it's a general rule across Northern Ireland is not. So we had it so straight uh, phosphorus to bring it up. As I say, it's a no-brainer. When you're getting the work done free, why would you not, you know, it's like getting any advice. It's, it's there, so it's, it's up to the farmer themselves to avail of it or, and, and make use of it put it into action. Um, say we need that grass, it's the cheapest feed we have, so we are taking advantage of that, yeah.